The definition of first order differential equation in temperature. The method of separation of variable Newton law of cooling were used to find the solution of the temperature problems that require the use of first order differential equation. The main purpose about this study is to analyze problems involving temperature which require the use of Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of cooling and warming. The formula is the derivative of the temperature with the respect to time is equal to K, which is the relative decay constant multiplied the difference between the object temperature and the surroundings temperature. So, capital P is the temperature of the object and Ts is the temperature of the surroundings. As we can see, that this Newton law is stating that the rate of which the temperature changes is proportional to the difference between the object temperature and the surrounding temperature. Moving on to our example problem statement. A dead body from a murder scene was found at 12 a.m and the temperature was 30 degrees Celsius. The body temperature was 27 degrees Celsius after one hour. The surrounding air temperature remains the same, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So, what time of death happened if normal temperature is 37 degrees Celsius? A very good day to Dr. Lau. My name is Nuhuda Binti Shidin. My metric number is 20208944478. So today, I will explain about the problem solution. So first thing first, we will assume of time discovery is 12 a.m. And the infos that are given to us is that T0 equal to 30, T1 equal to 27, Ts equal to 20, Tt equal to 37. So we need to find the time of death. So we must always begin with the formula, which is dt over dt equal to kt minus ts and t capital, uh, capital T, t0 equal to capital T0. So we substitute the t0 with 20, which we will get dt over dt equal to kt minus 20, and then we will integrate both sides, which we will get in the end is T equal to 20 plus CE to the power of KT. Next, we will use T0 equal to 30 to find the C. So we use the equation that we get just now, which is 20, uh, T equal to 20 plus CE to the power of KT. We substitute the 0 to the small t. In the end, we will get C equal to 10. And the new equation is T equal to 20 plus 10 E to the power of KT. And then we use the same method, we will use T1 equal to 27, and we substitute again um, the 1 in the small t, and we will get K equal to negative 0 0.3567. So the final equation is T equal to 20 plus 10 e to the power of negative 0 0.3567. So the last step is for us to find time of death, which we will use tt equal to 37. And we use the latest equation that we get just now, which is t equal to 20 plus 10 e to the power of negative 0 0.3567t. And we will get t, which is time, is equal to negative 1.49. So the conclusion that we can make is uh, the time of death is one point. 1.49 hours which is equivalent to 1 hour 29 minutes before 12 midnight which is about 10.31 p.m. The conclusion for problem solution, the formula we use is differential temperature where dt over dt equal to k t minus t s where t t0 equal to t0 where K is for a constant of proportionality and Ts is the surrounding temperature. After we find the value for each variable, 
we have to integrate it and the final answer is time of death is 1.49 hour which is 1 hour 29 minutes before midnight which is about 10.31 pm next is overall conclusion first is to predict how long it takes for a hot object to cool down at a certain temperature second it helps to indicate the time of death given the probable body temperature at the time of death and current body temperature